everyone, welcome to another video. This is a comparison video between Figma versus Adobe Photoshop. Now, as you can see on the left side, we have Figma. On the right side, we have Adobe Photoshop. Now, first off, let me just say that Figma is a more of a UI, um, you know, software, more of a uh, vector software, while Photoshop is a raster software, more of a graphic design software, right? with photo editing and a lot of different things. Figma is not really a photo editing, but it's more so a UI designing and vector program uh, or software, right? Now here you can see all of the things they have platform supported. Both of them have the same platform supported. Typical customers are pretty much the same and customer support, it's almost pretty much the same except Figma does not have a phone customer service. That's because they are they have a free, ba a free basically, um, uh, free offer and a $12 offer as you can see per month while sh while uh, Adobe Photoshop has $21 per month which is uh, I would say a lot for a freelancer that just wants to get started right um, now if we compare the prices right uh, Figma actually has a free account which is great right um, Photoshop does not have a free account which is a big con I would say and with Figma you can use free account you know, there's not not many limitations, I would say. Now, on the left side, we can see that Figma is excellent user friendly application. On the right side, we can see that, you know, Photoshop is, you know, has a bit of learning curve, right? Photoshop is not for beginners, I would say, you need to learn how to use it, right? Uh, it's in intuitive, it's robust, right? The user community is brilliant, obviously. And, uh, you know, overall, I used Figma and Photoshop, I think Photoshop is great. But I think Figma has a more simple way of, um, you know, of using Figma, I would say, and learning curve is much more quicker. Um, as you can see, some of the cons, right, sometimes I dislike there are just so many tools, right? So this is what I say, there are so many tools in Photoshop that you get lost, right? Now, it delays work and makes you feel uncomfortable, especially when you don't know where to do it um, settings. <laughs> yeah, this is actually pretty funny, but yeah, basically, when it comes to Photoshop, again, I use both of these programs, so I know the best, you know, uh, when it comes to sh Photoshop, I think Photoshop is great, but it demands a learning curve. You will need to watch a lot of tutorials on YouTube. When it comes to Figma, it's much more simple. It's much more, uh, less painful of a learning curve, right? And um, yeah, overall, it's really lightweight. When it comes to sh Photoshop, you need to download it. You, you don't have a free account, right? On Figma, you have a free account which is great, right? And then here you can see some of the features. Obviously, Photoshop has more features that are key features, right? Um, but when it comes to integrations and when it comes to everything, I would say Figma has Figma has a lot of plugins that you can use to, you know, shorten the work period that you work on the projects. Um, then Figma has a lightweight version of Figma on Google Chrome or on any browser. Uh, it saves automatically, which is great and you can share it and collaborate online with other people. While Photoshop, on the other hand, does not have that simplicity, it does not have a lot of plugins that you can use, such as Figma, and that are easy to install, and it does not have a, um, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's crashing as well, because, you know, it's a big program. Photoshop is not lightweight as Figma. So if I wanted to say which one wins, I would say Figma, if you're a beginner, in Photoshop, if you're an experienced uh, designer that wants to jump in this Photoshop, I would also say that these two programs again are really different, right? Photoshop is more so a program for graphic designing and software that helps businesses streamline photo editing, right? While on the left side, Figma is more so for UI designing and you know creating prototypes, right? So definitely consider that when you're choosing, you know, whether you're choosing Figma or Adobe Photoshop definitely consider that they are not the same software or the same type of software. So I would not say that, you know, a Figma is winner or a Photoshop is winner. I would say both of those apps are great if you are starting, uh, especially if you're starting in photo editing, Photoshop is great. If you're starting in prototyping and UI designing, Figma is great. So definitely comment down below which app is the best app for you. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.